that you are grandma. Now tell us about this little uh, darling. Elijah. Elijah can see my son. Oh. He is nine months, oh. and he is so sweet. Are those eyes for real? Yes, yes. Big blue eyes. He's just gorgeous. He is so good. I mean, okay. he's and just, uh, Here's the full body publicity shot. Yes, that's right. He gets mm -hmm. his toy piano. He loves music, so uh, I know oh, he's cool. going to be in music. Yeah. Does he try to sing? La, la, yeah, la. Yeah. He well, he doesn't do the la, la, but he'll, yeah, he knows, you know, and he's listening, because I sing with it. You know, he'll play those, and I'll do the <laughs> melody of something. <laughs> well, here's something interesting. At this age, can you tell if a child has musical talent? I know, I, yeah, I can. I know he's musical. And mm -hmm. even when he was, you know, just uh, two, two months old, you could tell, because... He would try to. I would sing to him, and I could see him just trying to form, and he'd do some noises. I know he's, you know, I can feel it, and, and the music starts, and his body will start, so. What a doll. <laughs> you are so into family. You, you come yes, from a large yes. family, and now your family is growing. Uh, do you cook a lot? I know you travel with your music, but do you cook a lot? You know, I probably used to cook a lot more. Uh, you know, I, when I start cooking, when I get into the mood, it's, it's hard for me to stop. If I bake one pie, I'm going to bake four, you know. It's well, like, call me if you ever need okay. to, uh, like, get rid of something. I have, I just, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've got to do it. And when I cook, it's like an army, you know. I don't, I, you know, want enough food, but it's, it's hard to cook a little. So, now, where did you get this talent for Greek cooking? Well, when I, when I married, my husband, Bill, is a, a Greek, mm -hmm. uh, Gazimus, this is our last name. Yeah. And his mother, you know, is, is a great cook. Mm -hmm. And she gave me a lot of recipes, and of course I would combine a little southern with it, you know, I'd sure. put that cornbread in there, Gotta or do that, that, you know, <laughs> 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 or do something a little different, and and uh, you know, they work together, and yeah, I love to eat. Southern so. food and Greek food work together. I think they do. Who yeah. would have known? Well, we're cooking up today some Greek meatballs. Is that correct? Uh, they're called gifiettes. Say it again. Gifiettes. Gifiettes. Uh, I might not be saying it quite right, but mm -hmm. that's. <laughs> about as good as I can get Have it. you learned to speak the language? It sounds like no. it. No. Not at all. Just, <laughs> I just know the food name. It's baklava. She can, baklava. Buy, you know? she can say <laughs> meatballs. <laughs> now, this is an interesting recipe because you can use several can kinds use, of meat. Um, uh, you can use the lamb is what we're going to use today, but uh, mm -hmm. turkey, ground turkey, okay. ground beef. Um, I think you could use about anything that's, that's ground that if you really like that and want to make it in, into the recipe, you know. Um, I, you know, I went to Turkey because some people wouldn't eat the, the, more of the red meat, so, mm -hmm. um, but I, I love the lamb. We've got the lamb for you here today. Now, should I stand back because you're telling me you're the messiest cook on I, earth? It looks so pretty here, and, and I'm going to change all that. <laughs> One fell through. Well, I wash my hands. You know, that's one thing we're you need to do. Here. And, and I will say, I do have polish on, but at home, I, I would take it off, you know, when I'm really cooking. Yeah. So if you get a little red flake in there, just overlook it. Now, that's why this, this, doing this show is so strange for me, because historically, I always wear nail polish. But for this show, I don't, and I feel naked. Well, you know, I just, you know, it's hard for me to take it off. <laughs> <laughs> we're girls all, yeah, all the way through makeup through. and all that. So we have a pound of lamb, and to what, uh, what do we add to that? Well, I'm going to go ahead and put the eggs in, unless you want to put the eggs. Exactly. I would be glad to okay. put them in for you. But, you know, if we're going to start that. But I, I, we also have onion and parsley we're going to chop. Ta-da! That looks great. And you can put it. You want the just, whole thing yeah, in there? Yeah, just put it in there. And let's see, would that be about maybe two tablespoons, you think? Yeah, you know, and, and a lot of, mm -hmm. when you cook, recipes are for you. Yes. You might not like it. You might not even want to put it in. We soak bread. Oh, oh okay. Now, this is my question for you. When you say yes. soak bread... What kind of bread, how much water, how long do you soak it? Well, you know, it's enough to have it absorb. Um, you could even over? Yeah, turn that over. And the, the bottom definitely is ready. To, oh, and, wow. and you just sort of squish it out. Is this supposed to look like this? Yeah. Yeah. Really, and um, what kind of, is this just regular yeah, white bread? Yeah, that's, that's fine. It's not sourdough you know, or anything, uh, is it? Uh, I, no, that's not sourdough. No. Uh, and you wouldn't want to use sourdough. Okay, help me here. Do we, do, do you squeeze it? Yeah, squeeze some oh, of it. Yeah, oh. yeah, sorry. This yeah, is I'm the like I said, grossest I have to. thing <laughs> I have ever. And how much of the water do we want out of it? Well, just get it, uh, it won't, just go ahead and put, uh, squeeze as much and then we'll. Okay. We'll so, it. and then just. Is it supposed to not feel gooey? No, it'll feel gooey. Okay. Now take a look at this. Is that good for you? Yes. Yeah. And believe it or not, this is not even the messiest part of the recipe. Crystal gets to do that. And I'm going to let you figure out how this works. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> I can't. Oh, no. so <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> I well, said pepper. You know, this fool's 
everybody because the pepper comes out the bottom and the salt comes out they the top. They look the same. And I have people doing this going, well, I was yeah, trying. <laughs> I was doing that. I need to get them the same. I actually do. But you, you, know, you want works. a little bit of salt in here? Uh, just go ahead. Tell me when. That's good for right now. Now, mm -hmm. this is the good part. You, know, you get your hand down in there. You now, can't you, be afraid when you yeah. cook with crystal. No, you can't be afraid. This is, uh, you know, and, and a lot of times, you know, I will use like two pounds, and it's a lot, but it takes a lot longer to, um, you know, prepare. So this is just My important. goodness. You know, seriously, you have to have a lot of muscles in your hands if you mm -hmm. make this a lot. Mm -hmm. I took, you know, I, that's why I took the rings off. Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> this is not a ring kind of recipe. No. Now, do you want to get this thoroughly mixed? Should everything really be combined, or does it even matter? Well, you know, you want to get it to combine everything. Just mix it, and that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you can tell. I'm going to have one more piece of bread, but I'm well, going to have it. I'll do it so, for you. Okay, yeah. Really Really get that water out. Really get the water out. <laughs> All right. And sometimes, if you don't have bread, you can use the crackers, sal saltine. Oh, okay. And sometimes I mix them. Yeah. A little more pepper. Little, oh, a little more pepper. Oh, sorry about that. A little pepper. Because I'm too messy. <laughs> she can't touch anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's so greasy. <laughs> I've already tested that. <laughs> I wash my hands when I cook so many times. I'm so glad you warned me about uh, you being messy in the kitchen. I just, you know, I'm messy cook. That's okay. It's fun. More? That's, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Now, we need a, um, a plate. Oh, we uh, could use this. This is quite yeah, fine. Yeah, you can go right there. But oh, we need the look. flour. Here's a plate. And there's it your flour. flour. My hands are still a little mm -hmm. messy, but that's all right. Now, you know what? Let's take a quick break. And when okay. we come back, we'll show you how, okay. how we make the meatballs. Yes. Is that correct? That's right. Okay, quick break, and we'll be back. Yes, indeed. Back on Celebrity <laughs> Kitchen with Crystal Gale. We have a very hot pan, and we're wondering, is it okay to go ahead and pour the olive oil in there? What do you well, think? Well, we'll probably have a little crackle. Uh, we might want to um, uh, I don't stand want to back. <laughs> All right, stand back. Or should and I move my pictures? No. <laughs> oh, my gosh, the babies, Bill. Just, just come, you know, Bill, you can come and get yeah, them. Yeah, you don't have to be on camera if you don't want to, but just we don't want oil <laughs> all over the... Thank you. That's Grandpa there. Uh, yeah, that was the Grandma I met. <laughs> you two are the youngest grandparents I have ever seen in my life. Oh, you're sweet to say all that. All right, olive oil, and how much would you like in the pan? Just pour. Just pour. It's got to, you know, be in there enough. It has uh, to cover the bottom. It's good. It didn't... Mm -hmm. Yes, that's good. I want everybody to see how you're making these meatballs because they're not really meatballs. You kind of make patties out of them. I don't like you? to do them in a patty more. And you know, I have done this in the past. If somebody doesn't want them fried, I put them in the oven and bake them. Do they turn out as well? You know, they're definitely a little different in the taste, but not much. I mean, it's still mm -hmm. good. And is there anything in this flour? Is it just flour? Just flour. No seasoning or anything? No, no seasoning. All right. And except, you know, how I'm making these very. This looks like a fun recipe to do with your kids because they can get all in the middle of it and yes, look like they're would. making a little mud pie. And do I just drop them in? Yes. Okay. Yes. Gosh, they're so tender. Into the oil. Now that's a nice little... Is that a good enough sizzle or you want it up a little higher? Oh, we probably will. I'm all right, put it up higher. Bit, ow, wanna, ow, we ow, got a spatula. Ow, ow, ow. I just put and my even the, Oh, you did I, I did. Ow. I did. Ow. Would you I like to do this? <laughs> Would you like to make Gosh. this one? <laughs> Every now and then I hurt fry. myself in the kitchen and I just did. How do you drop them in? Do you use your hands? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. I'll just be a little more careful. There. Stuck my finger down in there. And see, I was teasing. This is what I get for teasing you about the paramedics. I'm the <laughs> one that needs the paramedic today. I usually burn myself on the oven. Oh, bless and your heart. Just, the oven is my... It never fails. I've got marks on my arms. <laughs> you know, um, I'm going to let you do this. Okay, I'm going to do uh, that. I'm going to fry. <laughs> First, I'm going to wash my hands. <laughs> da -da. Oh, I'm sorry. Da -da. There they are. And that's the way they're supposed to look. Is that right, That Crystal? looks good to me. And actually, I was telling her that this uh, cold ground lamb feels really good on the blister that I just uh, got on my finger from putting it in the oil. <laughs> okay, we're at the end here. So you want to taste? I want to taste. Okay. You go first, and you tell me if that's that the, the way first. it should be. Okay. Hopefully they're done. <laughs> so we drain them on a paper towel yes. there. I do. You know. I think that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mmm. Is that good? <laughs> oh, can I have a bite? Mm-hmm. Little one. Uh huh. Mmm. 
Oh. So good. Mmm. Mm -hmm. You are killing me with that. That is so good. Is there a huge difference if you use beef or turkey? Is there a really big difference in taste? Um, yeah, there's a difference in taste. Uh, now, the, the other day when I did uh, one pound of turkey and then I switched and did one pound of beef, mm -hmm. my children liked the beef. And normally really? they would go with the turkey. Interesting. So it's like, and I, I like them both. I have to tell you, Crystal Gale's Greek meatballs are absolutely fantastic. And she's about to show us a very healthy side dish that goes along with it. But first, she brought us a surprise, a little part of her history from when she was a young girl. <laughs> Explain this, Crystal. Well, I was looking through my drawer with my aprons, and way in the bottom, I found an apron I had made in junior high. It was seventh grade. So you made this in I the seventh grade? I made this. I'm so proud. You know, because you at push that. it in. You know, I just, and I was, I How thought, cute oh, I is a that? pocket in my little pocket. Now, I want to tell you, I, re I really got down, and I was looking at the hems and the seams and everything. You are a perfectionist. These are the straightest hems I have ever seen. That's the, the straightest only time stitch. I'll ever do them. Is that it? <laughs> that was it. I cannot, you should see, now, you made this in home ec, right? Yes, in home ec, which we don't, I don't think, think they have it anymore. Uh, maybe now, not, school, but we but had to make a dress in home ec. I had to make a dress, too. We did a little smocking, and we just Mine. Did just oh, you have put me to shame. I, the armholes were different, like I had a really small armhole here and a really big one here, so when I put the dress on it looked like I look like that it was just awful <laughs> but it was fun you it can was. sew a button on now can't you I can sew See? a button on that's what a lot of kids can't do these days you know you know will you sew this on for me <laughs> yeah well you know what my husband does swear to you my husband actually tried to glue a button back on his shirt that doesn't work no, why would he even think of that <laughs> Heaven help us with our husbands. <laughs> Today, it's all about cooking Greek food. Yeah. This side dish, does it have a Greek name or is it just uh, rice? It, it probably is a side name, but uh, <laughs> it's a side dish. Yeah. No, it's just spinach and rice. Spinach and rice. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I don't know the Greek name, but I know that there is one. But don't let this fool you. It's not just spinach and rice. There are a lot of wonderful mm -hmm. and unusual ingredients in this. Yes, it really tastes good. Like so, cinnamon is in yes, this? cinnamon is in this. And yeah. you have garlic in it? Gar a little garlic, tiny, tiny, bit, tiny bit. And uh, onion. Hmm. Onion. And salt and pepper. And, and, uh, so what do we do tomato first? sauce. It's a little bit of tomato, yeah, tomato sauce. sauce. Okay. So what? I'm going to have first? you chop onion. Okay. And I will even do the little garlic. And you're going to do the garlic. I'm going to do the garlic. Now you are true garlic. Uh, Crystal told me, seriously. I you see these clothes garlic. here? She will just eat those and just yes, chew I them would. up. Yes, I would. Bless your heart. You're poor. Nobody family. wants to be around me that no. way. <laughs> You're the most unpopular person in your family. I, I'm not very popular when I do that. <laughs> so, I mean, is everybody in your family a good cook? All the kids? Um, well, my daughter is. She can fix baklava. That's mm. one of her specialties. Nice, lovely yes. Greek dessert. Yes, Greek dessert. And um, well, my son can fix eggs. And <laughs> That's a guy thing. No, I, guy Bill is a egg. very good cook. Get that chopped up a little bit. Yeah. Let's just go Start. ahead and put it in. Okay. You know, we, do we, we don't have it on the heat anyway. We don't. So uh, that's do you good. Want it Let's on? just go ahead. If we can put the heat on. How much minute. of the onion? Just go ahead and start scooping. Scoop the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, let you do. Let's mm. do that for right now. So let's all see right. what we're doing. Go ahead and we'll just put a little of this in for any. Is that olive oil? Mm hmm This is olive oil. Maybe about a tablespoon. It looks now like she's putting in there. we're going to see. You know, when I cook, every recipe I do... It always changes a little bit here and there, so mm -hmm. it's just how you cook. You know, yeah. Your own taste. If, when it's, uh, I'm going to put this in. This is the well, garlic. Is that about a clove? That was just a clove. Okay. Because, yeah. you know, there are a lot of people out there like me, and we are not talented in that we can't make something without measuring. Right. I am very, I just, I measure everything, and I look at it like this. I'm, I well, would I drive too, you nuts. Well, I but then I always go beyond. Do you? Yeah, if it calls for two bananas, I'm probably I'm going to put four, you know. Yeah. <laughs> or, you know, I will measure really good and have it just right, but then I cannot be satisfied with it. <laughs> you don't know when to stop. I do not know. <laughs> That's what Bill says about the garlic. But you I'm know, good today. I just stopped at one close. That's like me with makeup. I love makeup. I do not know when to stop. Well, I, I don't either. Val, who does our makeup here, she told me that I should uh, join uh, Powder Anonymous. Well, she definitely wants me to. Then. <laughs> no, no, I just I won't quit with the powder. But uh, so sh I have this on. Should we should just be sizzling just a bit? Let's turn it on, and we're also going to put a little water in it. So this is time. a half a cup, which we're going to start with. All right. So we can do it by measures if we want to do it that way. For you. Yeah. Okay. Turn it on up to uh, mm. medium. 
Okay, I've got yeah, on medium right on now. Medium you know what? Now. Let's just take a quick break. We'll let this start sizzling a little bit, and we'll show you all the other fabulous ingredients that go in this. Mm. It's been too And it was just three shakes of cinnamon. Well, for right now, we are back with Crystal Gale. <laughs> we are just talking away here, and we have our onions and a little bit of water, a little bit of olive oil, three shakes of cinnamon. This is what I put in right now. And this is uh, just, you know, a little bit of pepper. It's to your taste. Mm-hmm. You can stir that stir around. Stir that around. Yeah, oh, just little, this, this is heavenly. Oh. Here I go again. You, go. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot turn the salt shaker. <laughs> but you know, one of the chefs we had on the show said that I should get a pepper mill and put kosher salt in it, and then it grinds it, up the kosher salt, and yeah. it's so good. Mm. So there we go with this. Oh, yes. Oh, and uh, you want to this put the tomatoes to open in? This. Well, you know, let's just go ahead and put this in and get these started wilting. This How much is, spinach is this? Well, I'm not, uh, I think this is a package. It's a big old Which, package. Yeah. You know, when you, if you can use the box spinach, it's frozen. You can? And, yeah. So you would use like maybe one, two. Um, and you thaw it and you squeeze it out or does it matter? Just put it in. Mm -hmm. Frozen. I've, I've put it in frozen let it, and put everything in and, and let it. Uh, now, do we have enough for you? Do you need more? No, I think it's pretty good. Here's a little let brown it cook one. Down. Just take that one out. Yeah. So, do you have one. to stir this to get it, or just leave it? Well, you can stir stir it a little bit now and just see. I'm, a, and I'm going to open this. Okay. I'll get over there. All right. And of course, it's you know, going when, all over. If you can't find, you know, good spinach, you know, the fresh, you just d use the frozen. Right. And just if you're making the, a lot of times I'll use the two packages of the frozen spinach, and so mm -hmm. you would add more of everything into your taste. You, know, you might not like onions. So don't, you know, just put a tiny bit in. That's what yes. I love about Crystal Gale's recipes. You can use whatever you have That's on hand. Right. You can use a little of something or a lot of something depending on your taste. Very versatile recipes. Are all Greek recipes like this? Well, I, I think most recipes really. In general? Yeah, because mm -hmm. uh, I'm just gonna have a little right in here. You let this cook, uh, like we're gonna cook this now. I'm gonna mm -hmm. add just a little bit more water. Mm -hmm. You want it to be just slightly soupy. Yeah, that was probably mm -hmm. another fourth of a cup. Yeah, I maybe another in. quarter cup. Yeah. And now, is this the part where you just let it go for about an hour? Yes. Let it sit. You hmm. know, if you want to put, but see, since we put in tomato sauce, and right now, <laughs> I just put in a little bit more than half of this. And I might, right. as it's cooking, <laughs> when I'm cooking, I watch it, I cook, I, mm -hmm. if I see that I think I want a little bit more mm -hmm. tomato sauce, I put that in, and I'm going to put a little bit more of the oil in. There's a little bit more oil. I do. I simmer this for about an hour, and then after it's, it's cooked, you will take, uh, for this size recipe, a quarter cup of rice. All right. And you put it in, and uh, mm -hmm. let the rice cook, and then it's finished. Oh, so that's all, so it's very easy. Then that's to it. Do. Yes, you just you know you get this going. If you when you're doing the rice, if you feel like you need a little bit more water in the end to absorb the rice, you put that in as well. But it's, Look, this is what it looks like when it's done. Isn't that gorgeous? And that goes with the Greek meatballs. They won't cook with this, but they'll serve us wine and they'll eat. Yes. This is Bill Gatsimas. Right. This is Crystal's husband, who I've been talking to throughout the shows. <laughs> Finally invited you to actually come on and and eat with this. And of course, you know the wine guy, Ben Payne. Now, let's all oh, taste first, oh, shall well, we? Okay. You want this one. Yeah. He likes the crunchy ones. Thank you. <laughs> and, and Bill made an excellent point when you're making these meatballs in deciding on the type of meat. Now, you like the lamb because? It gets crunchier when you cook it. And do we know why that is? Because it's lamb. Because it's lamb. <laughs> <Bad>. <laughs> You'll never get a straight answer out of him. <laughs> shall we try the rice? Absolutely. And? The Greek meatballs. Okay, what do we think? It's delicious. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Oh my. That is absolutely wonderful. I'm waiting for the wine. Greek the food, Greek wine. We yeah. had to have a Greek wine. Of course. It's called Skouras Red. It is from the Peloponnesian Peninsula, and it is a blend of Cabernet Sauvignon and an indigenous Greek varietal called St. George. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. And we'll try this one, an actual Greek wine. And mm. Oh, that's very nice. You're so lovely. You sing so well. Bill, you're a lucky man. I am. 